Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay on this brand new Emerald Jordan Walsh, who is one of the brand new summer standouts. This is like one of the better budget cards that I've seen all year. This card looks really, really good, and I'm super excited to try him out as an elite 3ND budget card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 13,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So I got this card for free. Made a video on how I get all of these cards for free as well, if y'all want to check that out. But he is an 83 overall small forward power forward with a 75 driving layup, 74 three ball, 80 driving dunk. Uh, not a great ball handler, but he's a very good defender. 80 steel, 80 interior, 83 perimeter, 74 block. He's really, really good. 77 speed and excel is really good as well. 83 lateral quickness. This card is legitimately very, very solid. I mean, comparing him to other small forward options, he definitely holds up at a very high level. A guy like Matt Barnes who came out yesterday, who's a very, very good, very, very popular card. I would say this... Um, this Jordan Walsh is very similar to. They're both six foot five. Uh, Walsh's stats offensively are mostly better. Barnes is a slightly better shooter, but uh, Jordan Walsh is a much better defensive car than Matt Barnes. He's faster. He's got better lateral quickness. I mean, he's a better all around card than this Matt Barnes card, assuming that his release is pretty good. So intrigued to see what his release is looking like. So we're going to check that out right now. But assuming this release is pretty good, this is going to be one of the best 3ND budget cards in the game. Maybe the best 3ND budget card in the game. And it's nice. He feels fast with the ball in his hands. He runs quick and his release is smooth and easy to grain. Yep, you got yourself one of them ones, a Jordan Walsh here, man. He's going to be able to defend at a very high level. He's going to be able to uh, attack the rim a little bit. I think he's got like an 80 driving dunk as well. So he can throw it down a bit. Uh, the bald man, I love it. I think he's got alopecia, which is kind of cool that he's been bringing awareness to that as well because I've seen some stuff about that. But overall, nice jumper. It's not quite as fast as Matt Barnes. His jumper's faster. I would say Matt is a slightly better shooter, but Walsh is a better defender, just as good, if not better, of a slasher. Uh, just a more versatile all-around card card i would say and i think you're looking at a better option he's a little faster as well so like overall i'd probably take jordan walsh or matt barnes and i'm liking the looks of this card a lot like i'm thinking this is going to be a card that could compete against the top tier small forwards in the game guys like jason tatum and andre Iguodala. this jordan walsh for like 3.5 kmt or something like that or how much he costs or free if you just score 25 points with a celtics player in a game could be an absolutely amazing budget small forward so let's hop into a game let's see what jordan walsh can do all right, we're playing main B203, and he immediately goes to a two-man and then kicks it out to Kobe and shoots a contested three. Not a good shot selection there, but it's the shortest player on the court gets the board. It is what it is. All right, let's hop into some defense and see if we can get ourselves a stop here. Uh, what is Devin Booker doing? I did not jump, and Devin Booker just stick. Not sure, honestly, but I guess it's okay. Let's hop into a freelance. Let's put Jordan Walsh on ball here against Damian Lillard, and let's get to work. He's not really a shot creator at all. I will try to shot create a little bit, but he is not here to shot create. Just remember that. If he doesn't look good as a shot creator, that's why. If he if it works, it's great. He's fast enough there to get to the baseline and get himself a dunk. We'll take that. Drives the ball and gets a dunk. That's good just because of his speed. He's able to get the angle there. But in general, that's not really his role. So if he doesn't look good in that aspect, that is okay. I just want to see him look good defensively and as a catch and shoot shooter. Gets through the screen. Gets a, not bad, honestly. Pretty good. I mean, pretty good defense on Dan. It's a good screen by Giannis too. Giannis is one of the most dominant bigs in this game for sure. So I'm not too mad about that defense. And uh, here we go. Let's get into our offense. Push cross here. Well, I was gonna try to, but he's trying to reach. And, and strip the ball instead let's see if we go pick and pop here get a catch and shoot three with mr walsh that would be ideal right now beautiful stuff size up here behind the back yo getting bumped by damian lillard bro like what is going on here stop and go jordan walsh to the rim kick it out he's gonna run right by beautiful we're gonna get inside i just can't create with these cards man they don't have no sigs Kyrie's the only dude on this team that can freaking create a shot we're just gonna take the pull up three with Kyrie. good shot by and i missed dang it Ah, it's annoying. It's all right, though. Um, we're good. Get a hand up here. Make him work. It's okay. We're good. Not going to let him take advantage of this mismatch here. Good switch to bring Jordan Walsh over. I think Walsh can kind of compete against Giannis. Like, this is an interesting matchup here. Like, can he kind of compete? He's probably going to get drop stepped here, but no, he strips it. Beautiful. Doesn't get his completely out strength stripped the drop step. That's defense, man. I'm telling y'all. Jordan Walsh, versatile defender. He's got like 80 interior as well. He's not just a perimeter defender. This card will give you a lot of the defensive end of the court. While he's kind of just there on offense and just a guy to make wide open shots, defensively, he's actually like pretty good. So, definitely. Definitely at least an interesting card in my team strip here or drop step here and go up and it's a three seconds i missed the layup anyway 
Oh, never mind. Shooting foul. Cool. Our test fouled me from behind. I thought it was three seconds. Free throw rate. It's just the same free throw that Larry uh, Johnson had last year. His rating's kind of low, so he's going to be a little inconsistent right now just because it's tough to green him, but it's not a bad free throw. I green that one, and we knock it down, so definitely not going to complain about that free throw release. Three points for Jordan Walsh as well as a couple good defensive possessions. I'm liking it so far. He may not be a stat stuffer, but I do think this card, again, good defense. Nice lateral quickness gets through the screen. Again, we're switching here. We're, we're back. Good D. Like I just feel like we can play really nice defense with this card on ball. He's like a serious lock. Uh, again, in the paint here okay right, reset it uh see if i'd like to get a three though i i was shooting with him in freestyle obviously but haven't gotten much in game there we go come on jordan walsh and i missed it dang it slightly late the release is a little quicker actually than it looks i think uh so that's something to keep in mind but that is a little bit annoying because that should have probably been a make and he's gonna get an open look here well he should have had an open look um good defense oh good shot never mind down by two all right, so I think I might start taking my buckets with my other guys. It's just, I, I think I'm forcing a little too much trying to get the ball just to this Jordan Walsh card when he's really not a scorer, but uh, I had a wide open three on the last one, so maybe I'll see if I can get another one. Uh, lateral quickness on Ron Artest is too good for me to run around him. I'm not going to lie. Uh, back here, beautiful book. Attack the rim, book inside, book, pump fake. Spacing ain't there. Yo, Jordan Walsh, bro. He, he literally jumped with Artest, and you spaced to the freaking free throw line? In a five-out freelance, my, what is that spacing off of that? I, I don't know what to do there, to be honest. That's not, I can't really, like, that doesn't mean he's a bad card, but it's just bad I, I, bad AI right there in the game. Like, why is that a thing? I don't know. Uh, but it is what it is. Again, can we get another defensive stop? We got to get some defensive stops in this game, man. Uh, Paulo is going to get kind of dogged by Giannis, but not really able to recover and get the board, and we are out, and that's transition take. Apparently not. Oh, that's free throws for Paulo. Yeah, not going to be a statistically impressive. I missed that free throw too. Missed it badly. Um, but it's not going to be a statistically impressive game for Jordan Walsh, but defensively he's been good. We've only given up five points. I just got to score with my actual scores. I'm trying to force right now and score with guys who aren't really scores. Guy like Jordan Walsh. It's just not really their role right now. So uh, just got to settle in a little bit. But good stuff here. Get through. Straight up. Beautiful. Good defense. And there we go. I'll live with that. Um, Again, if we can get under the screen here, we'll X switch that, play the slip. Um, yeah, I, I probably should have clicked on a Jordan Walsh. I think I could have gotten that steal if I clicked on, but I didn't. That's my fault. Seven to four. The fact of the matter is, I just haven't scored the ball well. I actually like this card, and even if we lose the game, I don't think it's because of this Jordan Walsh card. Even though I just keep trying to score with him on offense, and I just have to remember, like, this is just isn't his role. He's supposed to stand in the corner, basically, is all this card does. I gotta say, though, I cannot beat Damian Lillard off the dribble right now. The, the CPU AI in this game is just cooking me. We do get a standing dunk there, and he is big enough to get those, so we'll take that, but I cannot beat the AI off the dribble right now. I'm just really struggling. Uh, Jordan Walsh, get through the screen. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm going to play the slip, and he runs around me with Giannis, but we're still in front. Good defense, and he loses that about... Oh, that was out of bounds. Steal. Dang, bro, that could have been a stop right there. I could have had the steal with Walsh or the out of bounds there off of that lost ball. Good, rotate, Paulo, block. Yes, let's go, Paulo, let's go. Throw it up to Jordan Walsh. Front. Bad shot, bad shot, bad shot. I'm forcing, and I don't get the... Dang it, Book. Yo, oh my goodness, Jordan Walsh is a dog. Stop on the break. I'm front running. Why not? Too early. He's too tired to be shooting that shot. Like, what am I doing? I'm down by one shooting BS shots. I'm telling y'all, man, I know his stats suck, but this card is good. As y'all, like, if y'all know, y'all can tell he's good. I know I'm playing stupid and gonna probably lose this game, but this card is good, and y'all should be able to tell that even with the low scoring game because he's not a score, and not every card is a score, and that's okay. Catch and shoot. This is your chance to redeem yourself as a shooter, though. Bang! me redeem myself i'm not blaming him we knocked that one down jordan walsh with all nine of our points i mean or eight of our nine i should say he's not really a scorer but he's getting the job done right now good defense good d eight seven i'm gonna x switch this we're gonna play the slip with paulo we're not gonna get ran around we're not gonna get ran around we're covered to the corner good defense contest that's nate thurman good d let's go beautiful and we're chilling going to overtime can i win the tip can i win the game just got to get ourselves a w here i really don't even care if i score with jordan walsh i just want to win this game i feel like he's played really good defensively i'm a big fan of this card i'm gonna be honest like hit three and d if i'm not doing a gameplay with him he's shooting two or three shots a game he's shooting wide open shots and that's it he's never shot creating but he doesn't need to shot create i got kyrie irving and devin booker he's there to play defense and catch and shoot and that's the important thing to remember here is that he doesn't look like anything special because he isn't anything special he's a three and d cone he's just really good at being a three and d cone and three and d cones are really useful cards to have on your team right now so I, i'm just i don't think that's a bad thing at all as he he almost scored by back cutting out the corner that's so bad back door here speaking of back cuts jordan walsh go to the rim pump fake pump fake no i, I pump okay hold on just hit the mid-range win the game please just make it 
Oh my, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. This is gonna be the most embarrassing loss ever. I swear, and the longest gameplay ever. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, illegal screen. He got hoed. He got hard. He got hard. This is, we've been in overtime for 45 seconds. That's so crazy. Uh, all right. Well, pick and roll here. We're either going to get a three with Kyrie off the screen or we're going to hit our slip for a dunk, hopefully. One of the two. All right. He doesn't set a screen at all. And Kyrie is not even able to create a, an iota of separation. Hit the pop, catch, blow by. Yo, I just can't score with these cards, man. Attack the Ram book, hit our pop. He doesn't pop again. The push pop just doesn't push enough. And. If I make a free throw, I win the game. So as sloppy, as horrible, as bad as this game has been, if I make this free throw, I win the game. And we make the free throw. Huh, what a pain in the butt. This card is not a scorer at all, but nine points, one rebound, three of eight, one of four from three. He can hit open. His release is nice. Um, and he's going to defend. So let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. That was a very sloppy game for me, especially scoring the ball. But this Jordan Walsh card plays defense. I think he's really, really good as a pure three and D budget card. I played very poorly offensively and trying to force the ball to guys who aren't scores can make offense look very, very clunky. But he's a very solid offensive card or defensive card and um, versatile defensively and can, they can hit wide open shots at a high level with a nice release that's actually a little faster than I thought it was. So pretty solid card. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.